as sweet as the stories say. I feel wild, free as life as can be, and ready to explore. With nothing at all standing in my way. True, there are certain customs I have to follow. Curtsy. Several small obligations I can't avoid. Princess, the time. A few rules to well more than a few commitments by the score. Aside from all that, though, I'm overjoyed. This way, princess. And sure, there are corsets and buckles and bows. Plus all those names to recall. Shane? Ethel. Right. Still, I can hardly complain, I suppose. This is happily ever after, after all. That's enough. I'll take it from here. How you holding up? Busy. <laughs> but busy's good. I'm glad you think so, Raps, because this welcoming ceremony is just the beginning. Tomorrow's the festival, followed by the royal banquet, and that's all before the actual coronation on Sunday. Oh, come on. Really? Look, Rapunzel, I know this princess thing is new to you, but you gotta at least try to act the part. Trust me, Cassandra, I know how important this is to my dad. As you've requested, Your Majesty, we've doubled security on both the main gates and the south towers. Good. We have guests from all over the world. I want them to know that they are safe. Everything for my little girl's coronation weekend must be absolutely perfect. Hi, Dad. And now that at last you are here in my arms, I won't permit you to fall. I must protect you from all the world's harm. We'll live happily ever after, after all. Now, as princess, you are not only representing yourself and the family, but all of Corona. Don't worry, Dad. I won't let you down. But while we're on the whole princess coronation thingy, I mean, all these royal activities are great, but do you think I might be able to catch a little downtime soon? I know this is all new, but you'll adjust. After all, your friend seems to be getting on just fine. Woohoohoo! <laughs> My man, this hat ties the whole outfit together. Now I know what you're all thinking. Why is Eugene in such a good mood today? I mean, what gives? Now that we're living splendidly, our dreams fulfilled extendedly. Why leave things open-endedly for Rapunzel and moi? Tonight I'll hand this rose to her, kneel down and then propose to her, and give this ring I chose to her. Nice. Life's gonna be like strawberry sherbet When she is Mrs. Eugene Fitzherbert Okay, not great, but how about this? When she is Princess Eugene Fitzherbert And what better day to propose to a princess than at her coronation? This is life after happily ever after And our story has finally reached its end Settling down here Year upon year Contented and secure With dozens of duties and now that we've gotten the dream that we chose, now that we're in for the whole, now our adventures can come to a close, living happily ever after, after all. Now that I've gotten the dream that I chose, why does my world feel so small? If this is it, and it is, I suppose. Is this happily ever after, after all? Okay, no pressure, just introducing myself to the most important people in the world. Representing my mom, dad, and the entire kingdom. We got this. 